Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. Today we're going to go over the new mods for March 9th of 2021. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome to the mod review for March 9th of 2021. So, um, I'm not going to put any timestamps up on the screen. We only have six new mods today, um, but we do have several updates and we'll go through all those in a second. If you're here just for one specific mod, feel free to look down on the YouTube slider bar to skip ahead to that mod. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the updates. So um, again, I'm not going to read off the change logs as I normally do. Um, I'm just going to read the mods. So uh, we have an update to the Damon uh, Pro V Class 7500 by DTP Mario and Agrar Danny. We have an update to Seasons Geo South Bohemia by Z84. We have an update to the Man TGX Crane TCM by TCM. We also have an update to Griffin Indiana 19 by AJ Farmer. Then continuing from there, we have updates to the Selling Station by Furmind24. And then we also have, it says an update to the Plastic Road Barrier uh, by F SM Creations. It says release date today, but those came out earlier. So my guess is these are now out on console, but I could be wrong about that. So I'm not sure what the issue is with those. Um, then we have update to the Old Wooden Fence by Hub Photos. Then we have an update to the Pottinger Toro Combi Line by DR Modding. And that is all of the updates for today. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the new mods. First up, we have the Valtra A series. This is by uh, La Pinpoika, uh, Farmer99, and Mr. Mazzini. This is 31.88 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. If we go into the store, this is going to be found under small tractors. We scroll down to the very end. Right here, Valtra A series, 65,600 to buy, starting price. Uh, 100 horsepower, 150 liters of fuel, runs at 24 miles per hour. Now, if we go into here, um, we start looking at a couple of things. So first off, we have the rim color. We can adjust anything on there. Main color can adjust anything on there, and then design color as well. And adjust anything on there, which I will see if the design color pops up here in a second. Um, yeah, that should work out. Uh, configuration, you have standard. You can do a 240 kilogram front weight, 560 kilogram front uh, link without PTO, uh, front link with the PTO, and then back to standard. Uh, under wheel brands, you have trailer board, you have standard. Standards with weights, you have wide tires, wides with weights, uh, rear twins, twins all around, narrow tires, and then back to standard. Then under knock-ins, you have standard, you have communal, and then this one says missing configuration, but essentially it's communal with weights in the rear. And then we go back to standard. And if we go to Michelin, we have standard, standard with weights, and then we have rear twins, twins all around, and then back to standard. And that should be everything, yep. Uh, fenders, so if we look at the fenders, we have fender flare on the back here. Tall, wide, back to standard. Now if we go down here, the roof bar, we can have roof bar or no roof bar. Beacon lights, you can have left, right, or both. Front loader attachment, yes, which there you go, there's a the design color. And then you also have a couple of different, different options on there, so uh, depending on what you're looking for. Now the A74 has 75 horsepower. The A84 is 85, the A9495, the A104 is 100, uh, the A104 high tech is still 100, the A114 is 110, the 14, 114 high tech is still 110, then the 2124 is 120, the 134 is 130, and then back to the A74. So those are all your options for this tractor. We hop in it. Make sure you guys can actually hear it. Looks like my desktop volume's muted, so that's not going to help. There we go. Sounds nice. Horn. Beacons. Turn signals so I can remember how to do them. There we go. Oops, sorry, that's my phone going off. Other side. Turn signal. There we go. Lights. One. Two. Three, one, one, two, three, off, one, two, three, off. So there you go. Inside the cab, a lot of good detail to it as you're moving around. Don't see anything for the lights up. There we go. Maybe some things light up if you turn the lights on. Dials all work. Everything's nice. It's what you'd come to expect. If we open up the help menu, um, let's go out of there for a second. So I can open up the door, left to right, holding down the center mouse button. And I can open up the other doors in the rear window using both the mouse buttons there. So there you have it. That is 
the Valtra A series. Next up, we have the Sulky DPX Prima. This is by Agroseba. This is 3.06 megabytes to download, and this is for PC and Mac players only. Going to the store. This is going to be found under fertilizer technology down here at the end. 15,000 to buy. It is a fertilizer spreader. Does not do lime. 40 horsepower required. 2100 max uh, capacity on it. 21 meter working width. Uh, runs at 12 miles per hour. We go into here. This is 900 liters. They make an add an extension for 1200, 15, 18, and then up to the 2100, and then back down to the 900. So um, fully extended. It's going to run you seventeen thousand dollars there. We hop out. It's going to do as it should. Uh, now I will say, if I hit B, it's not going to let me do it. I have to unfold it first, and I'm not sure exactly what. Not sure exactly what changes when that happens, but you have to unfold it, so make sure you do that. Uh, you can lower it if you'd like to, but I don't see the point in that. B to turn it on, and we are fertilizing. As you can see there, there you go. That is the Sulky DPX Prima. All right, next up is the Cambridge Rollers Pack. Uh, this is by Austri. This is 9.78 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. These are found in the store, and I'll go over a couple of things with you guys. They're under miscellaneous. Right here, so there's two options. Um, so if I go into the first option here, this one has these bars around the outside. What that does is it provides essentially this, this will fold out to here. So there's a hook up there, hook up in the middle, hook up on the outside. So you can hook two more of these guys together or a third one in the middle if you really wanted to. Um, but you can hook more of these guys up. So, and you can make it obviously with them being in this configuration, you could hook one of these up to one of those and then keep expanding it out as much as you wanted. So um, it gives you the option to do that. Um, that's only this one. That's the difference or one of the main differences between this one and this one right here. So they're both 1500, both 1 1.9 meters, both require 30 horsepower and run at seven miles an hour. Now, if we go back into this one here, configuration, we can do sprayer or weeder. Um, so I have one in both. I did this one in sprayer configuration, and then I, I don't even think I put the warning stickers on, but that's the other difference is the warning stickers, Then you can adjust the main color if you'd like to. Now, if we jump over to this guy, again, that's the same there. Um, sprayer, weeder, you just can't do the, um, gosh, the sticker configuration. So I did one, I did this one in weeder configuration, just to kind of see what the difference would be. Um, and honestly, they both, and I'll show you this in a second, they both fertilize, um, and they have an option to turn them on or off, but on or off, they still fertilize. So this one, first off, will show you that if you hit X, you can unfold it out, open up the help menu there. Now, see it says B to turn on the rollers. So if I drive onto the field here, it's got the animation there, and I'm driving 24, 32, and if you look, it is actively fertilizing, and I check that inside of the uh, map, and it does fertilize when it does that. Now, if I hit B to turn it on, all it does is lock me down to that seven miles an hour. I'm sure if you hire a worker to do it, that's what's gonna happen. But there you go, hold it up. And it's still gonna fertilize no matter what you want it to do or not. Now I'm assuming the sprayer one is not gonna weed maybe. I haven't tested it on weeds yet, but just to give you an idea, I wanted to see if it would just weed or not, but it appears that it will also fertilize. So if we hop in this one, same thing. Uh, it has a B to turn on the rollers if I'd like to. And let me turn down the volume just a touch for you guys. So you guys can hear me talk a little bit more. So as you can see, it is fertilizing without being turned on. And if I hit B to turn it on, and I check that again in the map as well. So there you go. But those are the Cambridge Rollers Pack. So there you guys go. Next up, we have the Sepi Multipla uh, S9. This is by Black Eyes Modding. I'm sorry if I'm saying any of that wrong. I probably am. This is 9.47 megabytes to download. And this is for all platforms. This is found in the store under mowers as it is a mower down at the very end. We have two options on here. First off, we have the base for 7,000. Um, this one is 100 horsepower required. It's designed to hook up to the S9 Multipla. Um, runs at 2.8 meters and runs at seven miles per hour. Then the Sepi M S9 Multipla. This is 42,000 to buy, 150 horsepower required, eight meter width, runs at seven miles per hour. So this guy, if we go into here, you can do old coloring or new coloring. So I did old coloring for this one and new coloring for the uh, rear one. Now you can have rear work mode, you can have front work mode, or you can have both. So I went with both. I think that's awesome that you can have both on there to be able to hook up and however you want. Now, in game, it shouldn't really matter a whole lot, and it should just mow regardless of how you have it oriented. But if you want to be proper, there you go. And here, old coloring or new coloring, but there you go. But again, it does have the three point to attach to the mower, and then this can attach to your tractor here. 
So we hop out. I have it attached all together. As you can see, I can disconnect that. That's the rear one there. So if I hit V to lower that down, B to turn it on, G to go to my mower here, X to unfold it. Once it gets unfolded, V to lower it, B to turn it on, and I should be able to mow. And we're going at seven miles an hour, which does seem quite slow because most mowers do run at about 13 miles an hour, but it is doing its job. There you go. That's the Seppi Multipla S9. All right, now into placeables. We have the cow husbandry with bio milk. So, um, this and here it does say in this cow shed there's only organic milk, no normal milk. Uh, fill type organic milk is automatically registered in the map. Uh, there are two trailer and a placeable sales point for organic milk included in the packs. So I'll show you guys those in the store. Um, this holds 450 cows. This is by uh, Adjustar. This is 17.05 megabytes to download. Um, this is for PC and Mac players only. So I'm going to go into Global Company here just to make sure. Yep, so it's not going to show up in there. Um, if we go into the animal screen, it's not showing up in there yet because we haven't bought any animals. But let's go in the store and take a look at a couple things here real quick. Animal pens, the animal pen itself. Right here, ASM, cow shed with organic milk. $2,500 a day maintenance, which is quite a bit. $275,000 to buy. Holds 450 cows. So um, let's go to miscellaneous. Should have that sell point for us. Yep, there's the organic milk buying station. We'll go ahead and just actually place one of those down just so we can take a look here real quick um, in the menu. And then there's two trailers as well. So let's see if we can find those under, likely under animals here. There we go. A couple of trailers for your bio milk right there. And there's the icon for bio milk. And again, if you can go into the store here, actually that other cell point's not registering, but there you go, bio milk. So a lot of money on that. Um, so let's take a look at the cow pasture here. So right here is going to be your cow endpoint, which we'll put just 10 in to test it a little bit. Right here, you're looking at your feed input. So feed input across there. Now milk in here. Um, this is looking like this is probably going to be, yep, we're going to get milk out right there like they have the labels on there. So there you go for that. And then as far as straw and everything go, it might actually go into here as well. I haven't, again, tested all this out. I just want to give you guys a quick overview of it. Uh, water looks like it's going to be right here. There could be a straw point. Oh, nope, straw is going to be right here. There we go. Straw right there. Slurry. Manure is obviously going to go into there. And if we go into the menu now, let's take a look at the cow pen. Uh, so, okay, here we go. So bio milk, slurry, and manure. So there we go. So everything else looks the same. Uh, the effectiveness for food is the same. So everything else looks to be pretty much the same. You're just getting uh bio milk now which is awesome here's the cell point right there the bio milk cell point but there you go that is the cow husbandry with bio milk all right next up in our final mod for the day is the old prussian farmhouse this is by farmer 5 tom this is 58.25 megabytes to download and for pc and mac players only this is in the store under placeables under farmhouses right here ninety thousand to buy it says locksmith on it but it's this house here thirty dollars a day maintenance so let's take a look at this this thing is pretty cool looking actually you can open everything up. This goes into here. We got a workshop here, which is great. I love the detail in here as well. This is a really cool farmhouse. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really like this one. Oop, no lights there. Oop, maybe not there. But very cool. If we go up here, oop, I can get up there. Got storage up here. You can get up over the top of the house there. That opens up so you can go down below, which is awesome. <laughs> this is a very cool house. We hop back down here, we can go. Oh, oh that's on off for the light switch. I wonder if we can hit that door. There we go, open door. Again, workshop trigger, which is great. We go in here, this goes out to that front that we were just at, and there's the the attic esque area, the storage space. Oop, there you go, I had it for a second, maybe. Oh, light switch. We'll go around. Oh no, we can't go around. That's the. That might be the way to go. Go and see if there's a back door or something, but I'm pretty sure you can get into that area based on what I'm seeing on the mod hub. Well, that opens separately. That's cool. But it's, I mean, obviously, you can see it's a very cool house. This thing is incredible. We were closing that door. Or no, that's where we were trying to get to. 
All right, let's see if we can get there. Like those lights? Maybe not. That door there. Yeah, you should be able to get in there based on what I'm reading on the, the mod hub here. Let me scroll down. Yeah, that should open up to go to the living area. Huh. I'm just struggling to get the trigger to come up. Let's try to look down. Sometimes if you look up. Oh, nope, that's for that door right there. Oh, man, that's a bummer. Well, anyhow, you should be able to go through there. That's closing. Open that door still. Yeah, you should be able to go through there. I'm just having a lot of struggles. But anyhow, regardless of that, very, very, very cool house. So there you guys go. That is the Prussian or the old Prussian farmhouse. If you guys enjoyed this mod review, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen uh, to join the Farmer Cop channel. And if you want to consider joining as a member, feel free to do so as well. But this has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.